Hi right, folks, basically it's Beano Black and this is ice on. We're zoomed in on it. Now that's just basically this big circle is just basically imposing it so you can see uh, that pretty much I think this is a 24 hour time lapse probably uh, because we have a hyperbolic star, uh, neutron star, you know, hyperbolic slash neutron star because they're studying this star that's up there. And that's not Ison that's a star that we know of yet until the Ison gets closer because then, you know, what they're saying right now is they figure that the nucleus of, and when you see what, what I'm seeing, I don't understand they can say that they have a nucleus and they know what size it is or anything like that. This thing's like 400 million miles away from Jupiter or the sun. I'll get the exact on that in a few minutes. Uh, but as you can see, we have a trifecta effect. And now what you're going to also see when I zoom out of this, uh, we're going to be able to, in the future, to match up and probably be able to try to pick it out of what we have for uh, pictures from Sechi and so forth. Because we know it's up at Jupiter, okay, and then they got it in the circle there, and then we have all of our large objects that are around close to it that we can go ahead and pick out. And I'll also go to, uh, and basically, I'll keep this image here, and I'll pop over to who can think, and we still don't have a thousand percent confirmation but you know this is pretty much and this was on a reputable site on the internet so they figured that you know that these two gentlemen here have uh and they're in their private uh at that university uh have gotten their telescope now what's good is they get in and you see the butterfly effect of some of these neutron stars that are out there and you get a trifecta, i.e. the trifecta of the three spots that you're also seeing when we have that blown up, which I'll pop back to that in a second. You're going to see and remember that there's three distinct, and there's even one over here a little bit on that. And I'll point to it when we have it blown up. But we also have this here that we're getting here. And whatever time lapse that they, they're going to hopefully maybe speak about what time lapse that they had on this. And you get the butterfly effect, the black light curvature from basically super giant and basically subgiant and recently discovered let me get you to this real fast uh let me pop back to uh and remember there's a trifecta down here too because over here to the right is going to be jupiter and so forth now i'm not pointing at jupiter because i don't know exactly where jupiter's at in this shot and eventually we might be able to figure it out uh factually actually you get a trifecta here in this black node here in here and the uh, I'll give you the factual of now this is all from reputable and basically what that is is basically these are just below sub and basically these are our brown dwarfs basically there's tons of them okay but this is one that they're studying right now in April that they've been and basically let me I got to get back up there okay they're charging like a hundred and whatever money they're, they're charging some pretty good money for 200 euros 150 euros students 150 euros okay and I guess this was in January 21st okay extremely low mass pulsators okay basically what they are is stars that are pulsating and they're small dying or young or whatever they don't really know okay but the fact I'm sorry about it popping around it's just that I've got too much stuff loaded up right now but I'll have it down in a little bit but I just the reason basically is I got a ton of windows open in Stellarium so what we've got going on is recently is the lie that you have to pay attention to and then I'll basically go down on and actually I'll probably come back since this is popping around but when they do radar because basically that's what they're doing is radio signals out in the space and finding this stuff and then you can see but they find all these objects okay and then over time and years that you'll see when I come back to this stuff and you'll see that they find these bands and then it matches up to what we know about the star belt that the Sun our Sun and everything that makes up the Milky Way galaxy and just about anything in any galaxy out there in space at least for the Milky Way galaxy now when I go back and give you the information all the data that you're going to see and the basically you're going to see that it's all the way back to 1983 and a little bit before that because 70 something now this thing's like 170 AU, I mean light years away. This this is a star that's in the constellation that it's up by 
that, that stays there. Remember, this thing doesn't, you know, it's not currently up in a, a very large quadrant, but that's where this hyperbolic star is, up by Jupiter, up by where Ison's coming in. Now, Ison is, you know, thought to be five kilometers large right now. Uh, and basically, that's the position you got to come back and look at this because basically you count one, two, three, four, five, and six. There's basically six main stars to this constellation right there, which is basically, factually, I think we have the constellation listed here. There's your constellation, okay? Now you'll see that the object will also come up as this, all right? And it's the same, same star, and basically it's a star. It's just smaller than a subgiant, okay? Now remember, the footage was taken on the 7th, okay, of, of Ison, okay? So Ison is somewhere here and inside the pie that basically the circle of the uh, orbit, the orbital circle of Jupiter around the sun that Ison is within that, okay? So right now there's your hip 23015, however you say it, Ariga, or however you want, Ariga, or however you want to say it, and then it'll come up as this. So you can search it for this, and you can also search it V361AUR. So that's what that hyperbolic uh, neutron slash, you know, neutron, because basically they still don't know. They're studying it right now, okay? And I'm going to give you that info. So basically, it's in this area right here, in that constellation. And go back on the map, and you'll see it because it's up there by Jupiter. So they had the whole Earth telescope workshop over there, and then I'm just going to flash through this data real fast here that we'll go up through, okay? And then you basically know that they are studying this area massively. Okay, and then you can freeze the video and read some of the, the writing there. Okay. And basically these are binary, small stars, smaller than subgiant. And then basically I've got some of this data here on some pictures so that I can show it to you faster and better on. Now, not to confuse you, but remember... This is Ison and Jupiter, and that's the only thing that we really know. But we, I mean, the, if you start looking at stuff that's way the hell out, there is stuff that they don't talk about. But we're talking about stuff that people normally know about the solar system. And we know that the, now that there's, you know, I've been showing you for a long time, there's way more stuff. So that's where Ison's at right now. That's Ison right there. Okay, and that's where it's sitting at out in space. Now remember, this is just art. And when you see this in the Wikipedia stuff that I'm going to show you, it's good information, but this is just art, okay? So don't get excited that the idea that this is a picture. This is just art. This is an art rendition, okay? So as we go through this stuff real fast, basically G2938, there's tons of names for this stuff. You see, they've, they've got, they've got, and it basically the star, the hyperbolic star, that's the star's name, and it's a dwarf star, okay? Now there is a planetoid that's known to be there, and that's basically GE66, okay? It's cooling off. It's still a star. You see, that's what this is the factual what I'm talking to you about pan stars that went by. You have to realize that. Okay. Now, remember I told you that there was a lie? They've been looking at this stuff since 83 and before that. Okay. So don't pay attention. And I can all even flash back to that here in a second. Okay. And then you got 85, July 1st. Okay. And then basically here's our size, 2 four, and 4 mass of Jupiter, 5.7 mass of Jupiter. i got to get through this stuff fast because the idea that I'm also getting in this basically, you know, that's that's art right there. They just put a shot up there. So don't trust this stuff. If you see stuff like this, like with writing like this in the corner, now that's the correct names and stuff like that. But the factual that that's, you know, it's a star, okay? It's not, this is not real. This is art rendition, okay? So you see what I'm talking about, about the lie? It's been around for a long time, okay? I mean, it's been, it was there before, too. They just found it way back in the 70s, 74 or something like that it was found, okay? So, and they're getting professionals and students that are going to be, and they recently, my ass, so, you know, they even lied to who's going to be doing astronomy work. Because basically, they just see objects, they write all the data down, declination, you know. So factually, this is 24-hour period time of why you get that flash that they're seeing when they're looking at ice on up there. Because basically, we have ice on here in our shot, more than likely, by Jupiter. You see, they do shading with the, you know, with the infer, 
the infra, either either infrared or infra blue, whatever they use for the masking. And I've showed you them pulling the windows down. And I'm going to have another video that I'm going to put up that I made of some Jupiter action that I'll put up after this video, and you understand how they shade stuff to be able to see certain things and to block a lot of light off of a lot of other stars and stuff like that. So basically, yeah, straight up, you are seeing more than likely ice on in this shot somewhere in that flashing up by Jupiter back here on that date. And I don't have time to be sitting there and you basically I'll pop it back out for the deal. But basically, and I've showed you this stuff before and it was flashing and doing it. And then basically remember that Earth has got a smaller rotation around the sun so the satellites keep up with Earth, okay, actual factual, because we don't even see that object that came around clockwise around the sun yet here on this footage from way back, I, you know, you'll see the date in a second. So then basically Ison is in this shot, and then I'll show you like the 19th when the when A rolled over, because factually Ison's in this shot. So, and I kind of figured that before, but I just didn't want to until I knew, I mean, I've known for a while, okay, it's up by there, and it's inside the... It's inside, and I'll take it to JPL, and you'll see that too. And then I'll get the 19th on A on the other side. You see, 1977, and then I got another one, another shot here, I think, in this one here off some pages and some data. And basically, a guy found it back in 74, you see. So, I remember this is back on the 19th of January there, so watch your dates. And basically, I'm going to also show you that basically this is on the 19th of last month that they basically, so basically, we got ice on in here somewhere, okay? So the factual, we'll be able to find it after I study this a while. I'll be able to match it up. I really don't think it's this, but the factual, if it's not this, this is a planetoid object that we don't know, and you can see the magnetical on it. So, But I'm still, this the good possibility that maybe this might be, because remember we had a mag magnetical on pan stars, okay? So we may end up maybe that's what this is but i think i've seen this a lot before there i think i've seen that in other images before and remember b is just that's where the satellite on the other side is because this is the actual factual when they rolled the satellite back on the 19th of last month so okay so this is the one we'll study to match up on trying to get those large objects that are in that those two gentlemen's shot of ice on that they zoomed in on or then i zoomed in on their zoom in okay and here's a good example of another one of our minor planet, they call it. But basically, and that's what it exactly is, okay? And basically what it is, it's, it's a moon of Earth, and it's an orbit, in, in, in basically it's way, way tinier than even Mercury and the moon, okay? So the factual is there's your physical comparison, okay? And then I can give you where it's at, and I can zoom in here real fast to give you See, Geographos, 1951 RA, I think that's why it was found, and it rotates around the sun 507.64. There you go, and then, see, we actually have more than 365 days a year, see? And see, then there is its orbit there, okay? See, it orbits like that, okay? Because this is Earth's orbit right here, you see? And then that. Remember, folks, this is in the news, and I've been telling you about this for a long time, so freeze this and read this, and I'll get this other factual in here for you. And this is what I'm all about, Okay? been teaching you guys about that and the sun and the solar system and the biggest electrical motors in the that you'll ever know and while you're alive or in space in the earth that you're sitting on now remember I've been showing you but this facts you have to freeze this and read this now this object we actually had a skimmer it so they're looking hard for ice on and I've showed you ice on here and I've also showed you ice on you know they they found it so what I want to show you remember keep it apart I was showing you all those hyperbolic and neutron stars that are up in the area of Jupiter where Ison's at, okay? So remember to keep it separated, okay? And there's where Ison's at out there. Now in the future, and then since I've been getting problems with uh, basically, you know, members of the bar, so I'm going to keep slamming the, the moon action at everybody, okay? So we're going to be showing you that the factual that the, those twin satellites that they're they didn't crash into the moon. So we'll be ha we'll be able to prove it. I will alone be able to prove it. Now this is the kind of shell games that those people that are you know pretty much you know just like the members of the bar they basically are pulling the three card money because basically you want, look at your dates there you see, and then they found this rain in the rings of Saturn. Okay, so. Um, so a lot of us YouTubers have got the Space PSYOP Zulu, you know, 
trying to screw you up and make you think of other things in other planets as you've seen and this was supposed to be Venus and that's an artist this is not raindrops on Mars either freeze this data here there's absolutely no raindrops on Mars there's no atmosphere sand news they don't even know what color it is